The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website. You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support. The spirit led me to. The spirit led me to. Um, my action. Do you have a vision of producing evangelical movies to bless souls around the world? Evangelist Olumide and Toyan Fate Tunson have been committed to raising evangelical drama and film evangelist in Europe since 2011 and you can attend their ministry The Overcomers Evangelical Ministries International Next Training by registering for Batch 2 of Online Training Basic Film Workshop for Western Countries Online Classes. The workshop will hold from Wednesday 26th August to 28th of August 2020 Training fee is 30 euros. It is a practical workshop on making gospel movies using the missionary approach. Register by clicking the event flyer on www.overcomersfromeurope.org fill form and submit. Next step is to make payment and send proof of payment. A meeting code to join training on Zoom will be sent to you at least two hours before class commence on Wednesday 25th of August 2020. God bless you as you register. church. Hey, hallelujah. Church is opening again. The good news I've been waiting for. This is splendid. Wow. In fact, right away, I need to call some of the brethren. I'm sure they must have seen this also, but I just need to call them. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hey, church is opening again. I can't wait. Wow. Yeah. Hey, who do I call first? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yes. Oh, Sister Deborah. Ha! Thank you, God. Hey, good my morning, beautiful ma. Sister, how are you? <laughs> I'm very fine, hey, ma. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Wow. How are you today? In fact, I the li the line is breaking, ma. Okay. At work. Yes, ma. Presently. I'm at work. Okay. Have you heard the good news? Ah, what good news? There is always good news. Uh, which one is this one? Yes. That the church is opening again. Oh, that's we are good. Going back to church. That's good. But I'm um, I'm enjoying the online. No <laughs> I wonder you don't find it sound excited. Well, not really. I'm excited, but you know, I'm comfortable with the online. It's convenient, it's easy, you know. Mm. I enjoy it. I can always I watch it anytime as well. 
actually i understand you and i kind of enjoy online service too because yeah it's also very good in fact god has really used it to bring more people together but there's still this um, thing that is missing that unity that coming together that gathering of the saints is not there don't you think so i know i know there is nothing like you know nothing beats being together with one another and all that but you know with this covid 19 thing the new thing is just doing everything online classes church and all that and it's really convenient to be honest i know <laughs> It's just the yes, convenience right. part of it. Yeah. You are correct, but I also want us to look at it like this. It could be part of the devil's, uh, I mean, plan to make sure that some of us that are gifted, I mean, to become redundant. For example, you are one of the choir, right? You are, you are I mean, you, you are a chorister. And you know how well God uses you to minister to people's life during praise and worship. Now, tell me, have you experienced that Thing. I mean that kind of feeling since this uh, lockdown. Have you been able to do that during this lockdown? And you know that the blessings that you have, the gifts and the talent that you have, it's not just for you. It's to also so bless others. If you look at that, you you'll be glad to go back to church. All right. Yeah. When you said that, now you know, the Holy Spirit just you know prompted me there. It's true. Yeah. Nothing really beats being together you know, in fellowship. And like you rightly said, ministering to the people, ministering to the Lord is not the same online. No, we feel the presence of God, the power of God online, but you know, the coming together is important. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 25, we should not neglect the gathering of the saints. Yeah? I'm glad you understand now. And you know one thing that I also... I, I, I also know that happens. When we are having this online service, tell me how many people are practically, religiously, and faithfully going to online service. Most people, they are still under their duty, and they will be following the service. When the man of God or the pastor is saying, rise up on your feet and give God a shout, how many people are doing it obediently? It's true. Some Sundays, I'm still in bed, you uh -huh. know. Which, if I'm going to church, I'm up early, you know, dressed yeah. up, and yes, you are right, ma. Not all so the time. Like coming back together. Yes, I yes, am, yes. I'm, sure, I'm, I'm glad that you are doing with me now. So let's spread the news. Let's encourage people okay, to pray that I will, I will start. Uh, I will check my phone. I'm sure I would have received the message. I just, you know, I've been busy all morning. Yeah. Like I said, I'm just about to go for my tea break. But if I, just in case I don't see it, I will send you a message and so that you can forward me. The, but I'm sure we have it in my, you know, church WhatsApp group. Thank you very much, ma. Yes, for sure. Thank you, ma. Yes, ma. Have a nice day. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Precious, can you imagine? Comfortable, comfort zone. Okay, no problem. Oh, wow. Hmm, Sister Ruth, yes, let me call Sister Ruth. Let me just call her another voice. Yes, pick your call, busy woman. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, let me see if your husband is available. Hello, good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. How are you, sir? Amen. We are good too. We thank God. Yes, thank you. I was trying to call your wife, but uh, I know she can be busy. Okay, no problem. I can always call her. Okay. Meanwhile, have you heard the news, sir? About church going back. I mean, going back to church. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. We thank God. I'm so excited. I know. I will thank God. God has really been good to us. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. I'm glad you are also excited. People have different, I mean, opinion about this. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Please tell Sister Ruth that I called. Then I'll call her later, maybe later in the day or later in the week. 
God bless you. So I'll see you on Sunday by the grace of God. Amen. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Wow, that's good. At least that's someone that wants to go back. Amen. Hello, good afternoon, Sister Joy. Dickness Deborah. Fima. I'm just coming from work. We are still very busy at work with the issue of COVID-19. You are just coming from work. The Lord is your strength, I can imagine. God bless you, man. I know, I know. God bless you. Okay. Meanwhile, have you heard the, have you heard the good news? About going back to church, man. Yes. I heard people talking around about it. But I'm not interested. What is it of going back to church? Is it not about dancing, jumping, and refreshing with friends? And after the service, drinking tea and coffee? Oh no, Sister Joy. You said? Oh, I'm so sorry you feel like this. Sister, Sister Joy, Sister Joy, please listen. It is well with you. I understand you perfectly, Sister Joy. But think about it like this. Don't you think that for the fact that you are still alive, it's because the Lord God loves you. You just told me about the corpses now. You told me about the things you see at work. Don't you think you could be one of those people that are dead by now? But for God to have preserved you till now, it's because he has a plan for you. Yes. Yeah, it's okay to feel like this, asking questions like this. Where is God in all of this? But, you know, you can ask questions like this, where is God in this pandemic, where is God in COVID-19? But when you receive good things, when beautiful things happen to you, do you ask yourself, where is God in it? My dear sister, God is in everything. And he understands more than we do. Okay, ma it is well with you. Okay. All right. I understand that you are tired that you need to get some rest. All right. I'll, I'll find time to call you again. Just make sure you take good care of yourself. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't good at all. Hmm. Sister Joy. She doesn't want to even have anything to do with going back to church or God. Holy Spirit of God. Please. I want you to touch your heart. I'll be ah, hallelujah. Sister Joy, it is well. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I thank you. Lord, I bless your holy name. I give you the praise. I give you all of my adoration. I thank you because you're a loving father. Daddy, I have brought your daughter before you this hour, oh Lord, sister Joy. King of glory, I commit her into your hands, oh Lord. Ah, Father, I know she's so discouraged at this moment. My Father, my God, and you are the God of peace. Father, I pray that you will trust the heart of your daughter in the name of Jesus. Lord, I remove every seed of discouragement, every seed of fear that has been planted inside of her. Father, let it be removed this hour in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, I pray that you will turn around everything that is making her to be afraid in the name of Jesus. Give her your courage. Father, give her your strength in the name of Jesus. Hello, Dickness Deborah. Hello, good afternoon. 
to know, Sister Joy, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, how is everything? Yes. Um, I promised to call you back the last time I spoke with you. And I've been talking about what we discussed. Yes, about going back to church. Yes, I'm still on it. <laughs> yes. You know, I've been thinking about what you discussed with me, and I thought of uh, the fact that you probably may have a point, but only that the points may not be very valid. I will only say to you, my dear sister, that uh, you see, why we would think like that is because most of the time we don't have a personal relationship with God. So the mysteries of God is difficult for us to understand. Yes. Yes, because most of the time we go to church, we listen to sermon, we get involved with the activities of the church, but we don't take anything Yes, I, I will explain to you. Like, I've, I've known you to be a member of that church now for years. But you need to ask yourself, you go to church, but what is your relationship with the God that you go there to serve? Because either you like it or not, I mean, either we like it or not, things will happen in this life. Even the Bible talks about the end time, that there will be diverse of activities, diverse of events will take place. Part of it is what we are seeing. And it doesn't mean that God is no longer in existence. God is in everything. But if you have a personal encounter, a personal conviction that there is God and is supreme, then you will understand his mysteries. Going back to church is just part of what has to happen. Yes, exactly. We just cannot because, you know, the Bible says iron sharpens iron. I'm very sure that for this long that you have not been in the midst of brethren, it has really wearied you down. It has affected your growth. It has affected your faith in God. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Some of us are... For example, you're kind of person, you are so busy. Most of the time, you are even, in, I mean, you're even at work during these online services. And once you miss it, I'm not sure you go back to it during the week. And the more of the word of God you hear, the more your faith grows. And I'm sure this is part of what has really affected you. You have been so busy saving lives. You have been so busy doing the work that God himself has committed into your hands. But to glorify God more through this work, you need to owe him back to him. Yes, it's the Lord himself. The Bible says, if not for the mercies of God, all of us will have been consumed. It's because we are alive. That's why we can even ask questions. Where is God? Amen. I'm glad that the Spirit of God is ministering to you. Amen. Mm. Yes. Yes, you, you, we can be in church for years without having a personal relationship with the God that we say we go there to serve. Yes, my sister. You realize that now. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, if you don't mind, we can pray together. The Spirit of God is always ready to accept. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm ready. May the Lord have mercy on me. Thank you so much, Sister Joy. Yes, let us just say a word of prayer together. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our God, we thank you for this hour. Thank you, Almighty Father, for the opportunity you have come, given unto us even to know you father we yearn for we yearn and we test we hunger after you this afternoon i commit my sister unto you lord i pray that she will have a personal encounter with you in the mighty name of jesus 
I pray for the absolute salvation of her soul in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you will write her name in the book of life permanently, O Lord, in Jesus' name. May the joy of the Lord fill your heart. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much. Oh, that's good. So it means I will see you on Sunday. Oh, that's good to hear. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, all right. Take care of yourself. Okay, bye. Oh, that was good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm grateful unto you. Thank you for taking control. I am certain that you are the one that touched our hearts. Let it be permanent, oh Lord, that which you have done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory. So back to church. I have to prepare for this on the school. Since I'm taking this. Let me see the last question we had. Do you have a vision of producing evangelical movies to bless souls around the world? Evangelist Olumide and Toyan Faye Tunson have been committed to raising evangelical drama and film evangelist in Europe since 2011 and you can attend their ministry The Overcomers Evangelical Ministries International Next Training by registering for Batch 2 of Online Training Basic Film Workshop for Western Countries Online Classes. The workshop will hold from Wednesday 26 August to 28 August 2020 training fee is 30 euros. It is a practical workshop on making gospel movies using the missionary approach. Register by clicking the event flyer on www.overcomersfromeurope.org fill form and submit. Next step is to make payment and send proof of payment. A meeting code to join training on Zoom will be sent to you at least two hours before class commence on Wednesday 25th of August 2020. God bless you as you register. The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the Kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toyin Iso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website. You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email, overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support.